This is Larry Henares making your day with part 54 of a book we wrote on Philippine history. Subject, Yankee Go Home. Actually, the time for arguments has passed. It is clear that each side cannot convince the other. Since the pro basis stand is based on faith in America, a steadfast religion, the time has come to count noses where it counts in the Senate where the treaty must face ratification, especially in the face of the razzle-dazzle campaign and pressure from the military, big business, and Malacanang orchestrated by the U.S. Embassy. Of the 23 senators, there are 10 pro basis group. The solid six, Mike Tobano, Ting Paterno, Boy Herrera, Sonny Osmeña, Edong Angara, Neptali Gonzalez, and the four susceptible to persuasion. Santanina Rasol, Leti Shahani, Sonny Alvarez, and Joey Lina. Shahani, comadre and childhood friend of mine, is anti basis at heart, but she happens to be the sister of the U.S. backed presidential candidate at the time, General Fidel Ramos. Sixteen or two thirds are needed for the ratification. Now, there are 13 of the anti basis. The Solid Nine, Jovi Salonga, René Saguizag, Juan Ponce Enrile, Era Pestrada, Buchaquino, Bobby Taniada, Nene Pimentel, Tito Gingona, and Ordi Mercado. And the four susceptible to persuasion, Teroy Laurel, Victor Ziga, Ernie Maceda, and Bert Romolo. Laurel, like his father, is a nationalist of note a compadre of mine, and I doubt if even his pro-American younger brother, Doy, deep and presidential candidate, can convince him to vote for the treaty, especially if rejection is certain anyway. The Senate is where the action is up to September the 15th. All the crap about temporary treaties, prior referendum, renegotiation, and waiting for next year's Senate is all pro-American bullshit. The Constitution is clear, no treaty by September 15, and the Americans move out. So, go home, Yankee. More about this after these messages. This is Larry Henares making your day with part 54 of a book we wrote on Philippine history, chapter Yankee go home. I was at the Senate hearings on the basis treaty for several days at the invitation of Senator Ernie Maceda, whose performance is absolutely rectonian. His question marks like armies information reducing to rubble the arguments of Foreign Secretary Raul Manglapos on the so-called commitments of Uncle Sam under the treaty. The reduction to absurdity by Ernie of Defense Secretaries Renato de Villas touching faith in Mother America was a shattering experience. A demolition job with a feather blow as in the cutting of a diamond. Senator Teroy Laurel, more the son of his nationalist father than the brother of pro-American Doy Laurel, took Manglapos to task for the wrongful interpretation of the nuclear free provision of the Constitution. Senator Tito Gingona explored various ways the odious treaty may be amended without rejecting it altogether and embarrassing <laughs> President Cory Aguino. And Senator René Saguizag insists, as most senators do, that the Luneta rally of Cory in favor of the basis is uncalled for and counterproductive. As a matter of fact, all this propaganda talk about the electorate punishing anti-basis candidates at the polls elicits mocking laughter from such as Maceda, who may win because of an unusually productive stint at the Senate, such as Laurel and Taniada, who may win, as their fathers did, with the nationalist banner unfurled, and Salonga, who may top the electoral contest, as he did three times before. Yet. Doris Noval of Channel 4 fears that the treaty may be ratified anyway. And Abby Tan of a Singaporean newspaper cockily 
predicted a lopsided American win. We in Singapore, she said, begged the British bases to stay. She said, with a straight face and a forked tongue, the British were booted out by Lee Kuan Yew. A third lady, whom we shall call Milady, nudged the and pointed to the peanut gallery. The opera is not over till the fat lady sings, she said. And I stared at the fat lady, looming large both up and around, and asked, who's the incredible bulk? More next time, my dear friend. This is Lara Henares making your day, saying good day, God bless you. Thank you very much for being with us. Till next time, hasta la bye-bye.